It's very intentional. Intentionally involving others in what I do. When I was a kid, I purposely walked to school, even though I could get a ride, I'd walk to school and try to say hi to every single person I saw. Most parents will tell their kids like, hey, don't talk to strangers. Don't take any risks. It's, it's weird advice. I think a huge thing that inspired me to do that as a kid was like realizing how misunderstood skateboarding was and bringing people into my perspective of what I'm doing when I'm skateboarding. making a film from skating from my house to the cafe. It's actually an art project. So it's gonna be like, boom. It's gonna, it's, like most skate videos that are done well are really hard tricks done all over the world. Takes years to film. Yeah. Just a second, I'm watching him play. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. And I wanted to do a video that's just filmed in White Rock, where there's nothing famous to skate. You know, it's just a little over a mile, 10 blocks, 20 minute route, you yeah. know? Some people might feel uncomfortable sleeping in an ambulance out front of a stranger's house. What's up? Like that stresses some people out. That's exciting for me. That is where I want to be, is I want to be moving, moving, moving. Oh, dude, we got all these. Yeah, this thing has been shredded, man. It's like just screwed into the wood. like 20 of these ever made. It's independent. So I put grip tape on it and then I found out how rare it was. <laughs> Would you like to sign it? Usually people that come in, they get to write their names on it. What's yeah. your name? Andy. Andy. Yeah, what's your name? You'll so. find that out. Yeah. <laughs> H.J.? This is a Danish name. How, how do you say it? Hilio. 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 Yeah, you're right, I can't say that. <laughs> well, thanks, H.J. Nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you too. Okay. Should I just flow and I trust you guys? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is dope. I'm gonna grab my helmet. This will be my weapon of choice. It's my bowl board. But today it's a street board. Oh, also randomly, skateboarding is illegal in White Rock. It's literally illegal. But you just do it anyways. How's it 
Mexico Mueller. Looking good today. We just take this route today. I love feeling the trees. There's something beautiful about passing through a space and you kind of greet everything. You're kind of like, hello, ground. It sounds weird, but there's something to that mindset where you're just saying hello to everything. Like get inanimate objects and homies, the same. You know, you're like, yo, what's up, rock? Like, just welcoming day. It's not a very big ravine, but when you are in the middle of it, it's like you're surrounded by life. You're surrounded by what this place might have looked like before. And what's so cool about ravines is they're so steep and unstable that you can't build on them. It's nature's way of going like, screw you society, I'm keeping this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna make you struggle any way I can to save myself. And <laughs> that's what this is, right? Like, <laughs> Just film a movie, no big deal. <laughs> you know, you just got your skinny bridge for the daring. <laughs> you know, practice your flow state, like getting into some dangerous positions. That's what we're going to be doing all day, right? So I'm thinking about front crooks right here, and I'm grabbing my tail, and I'm like, have you ever seen that grab? Grab the tail behind the back from with the front hand, but to like get it like just laid out. There's certain roadblocks to this trick. Like, can you make it look good? Like, can you do it well enough that you're proud of it? Like, and where are you gonna place it? You know? It's one thing to discover it, it's another thing to do it, and it's another thing to make it beautiful. This is the line, bro. That acid drop kickflip coming up. <laughs> and now you're going kind of slow, you're kind of getting a twist on it, you're kind of getting a sly with it. You're trying to flirt with this curve, you're like, oh, oh, can I get away with this? Yeah, I got it, you know? And then you come up to this next thing and you're like, okay, walk up the stairs. Like this one I'm stoked on. I've actually never done this, this double bar. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm so freaking hyped. Chin, <laughs> Just watched him rip that handrail over there. Oh man. What are you doing? Right, there's this bank at the top of the hill. Yeah. At the uh, at the tennis court. Cool. And it's like a steep bank, like all the up the sidewalk, like ching, bah. And there's only like this much space on top. Yeah. So I think it'd be sick to get towed into the bank, yeah. which is gonna be yeah, kind of hard. Absolutely, bro. And I can catch you in the mirror. You ready, bro? It, bro? All right, hang on. <laughs> yeah! Yes. What the fuck? 
be the worst bump ever. Bro. Yeah, but it was the only bump we had, so it was the best bump ever. I mean, <laughs> right? Like, it was, there was nothing else to skate. Like, <laughs> you had to make it the best. But, you know. Right. No, totally, dude. Yo, you go up and then you surf down. off the curb. Did you get all that? That was amazing actually. What did you even do? Dude, I don't know. It's it, it's funny like some people they go to work the same route every single day. Right? And some people are fine with that and some people aren't. But when I'm playing piano, I can easily fall into a habit of playing the exact same notes every single time in the exact same order. And I have to step outside of my comfort zone to play different notes. My fingers are wanting to go here, and I have to intentionally go over here. And I can't predict what that noise is going to sound like. And then when I hit it, I go, oh, that hit me different. I was expecting to feel this way, because I've been through this before. This one, two, three, four. But it's now like one, two, three, seven. I'm like, whoa, hit differently. And it's the exact same thing with skating, man. Like finding that route, and then you're like, oh, I can go this way, get this. But I've been here 10 times already, I'm gonna go right. Whoa, what the heck's over here? It's like a whole different world, a whole different vibe. And how many worlds are in your world? <laughs> To be honest, I've never really seshed this bank. You know what I mean? It's like pretty shitty. It's just, I love it, dude. going on mm -hmm. but one of the sickest things the most symbolic thing is this dragon and what he's holding we call it a vajra, a vajra. or a dorje, a dorje. A it, it's an ancient tibetan tool when you're holding it you can create or destroy anything you can imagine <laughs> space I'm kind of excited about, like the uphill on a shitty sidewalk, you know, making that like not just going uphill on a shitty sidewalk.
Pleasure, bro. Pleasure. I give you a hug, but you look pretty leafy. Yeah, pretty leafy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, man. Okay, disappear. Disappear? Go away. This is private property. This, this, this is our art. The hole in the sky, yeah. yeah. I live here. Wait, you don't, you don't live here. No, 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 I live a block down. That's fine. This is our property. Go away. I don't want you skateboarding on our property. Yeah, I, I... I don't want you damaging our property. No yeah, skateboard. I get what you're saying, man. I just wish you... I, I, I can't I can't ask you to do this, but I wish you were polite about it, you know? Okay, well, how, how can I be polite? So I feel like I'm getting shooed off like an animal, man. I'm, I'm trying to be here like a friend. Well, then don't come on our property and damage it. Yeah, there's if no you damage. A, if you had to come and approach council and ask them to do this, I don't think it would be a problem. That's part of the whole, like, graffiti artist, hip-hop vibe of skateboarding is, like, you just show up and make the street your own, you know? You know our feelings. Yeah. I'm making the conscious well, decision. Well, do it. I mean, no, 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 I'm not giving you approval. I know, no, but I'm... If that's what you're going to do, I don't agree with it. Yeah, and I respect your opinion. And I, I really wish you a good day, sir. I, I really appreciate it. got a really hard trick and it's super ugly too let's say I got like three or four tricks that would be too hard to do in a line it seems all easy when you do it right but then when you don't do it you're like what <laughs> I feel like you're told where to work and where to relax and there's something so special about relaxing in a place that's totally illegal like somewhere you're definitely not supposed to be like what what do you mean i can't relax here like there's a skill to relaxing there's a skill to finding peace it's funny how relaxing is so tied into being lazy because it doesn't necessarily mean you're being lazy. Like, part of my work is relaxing. Because what that is, relaxing, is taking control of yourself and accepting that you're not controlling anything else. Dude, you're insane. <laughs> you're insane. No, Thanks. like, like you've got mad skills. Dude, thank you so much. No, I mean that no, with I all my heart. You're such a gentle soul, and you, you, you've been raised right. You have no ego. You just you're just doing your thing. Doing your thing and trying to be a good soul. Anyway, anyway, man. Oh, it's, it's always so good to see you, man. Ah. Always good to see you, man. I love you, dude. Yeah, sorry guys. No so, I, I don't mean to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You okay with being in the movie? What's a movie?
it, if I know I've gone down a certain street or I, I will, like sometimes you just have to be open to letting your environment speak to you. Someone will step up and you'll get a feeling like, I should say something. And then it's up to you whether or not you actually do. And it's just, you gotta do it. And the more you listen to those cues, the more cues you get, and the more useful the cues are, and the more in-depth the cues are. And you're like, who's giving me these cues? <laughs> and it doesn't matter, as long as you're listening to them. something new every day then life's not worth living. Oh, man, and it's like this great thing and the whole thing is interacting with all the people that we see along the way and I hope I'm in it then. Well you definitely will be. I just <laughs> it's gonna be good man. It's gonna be good. And I think I think a lot of artists, a lot of true artists recognize that they can't take full credit for their work. There's a level of surrender to what comes. <laughs> 